You're listening to Dino and the Afternoon Drive on Hits 106. July 9th and 10th of 1994. Two nights that I spent with some friends seeing Pink Floyd play RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. The show was awesome, even if our seats weren't. And as far as I'm concerned, it was the best concert I've ever seen. Founded in 1965, Pink Floyd is best known for the albums The Wall and Dark Side of the Moon. Although it held the number one spot in the United States for only a week, Dark Side remained in the Billboard album chart for 741 weeks. But do yourself a favor and explore the other CDs as well. Animals and metal show the progression of the band, and Wish You Were Here is a fitting tribute to Sid Barrett. As a fan of everything Pink Floyd, I don't care about what Pink Floyd is the best. The psychedelic days of Sid Barrett Floyd ease you into what became Roger Waters' Pink Floyd. And it was only natural for David Gilmour to take over and carry the torch for what will now be three studio albums. Yep, brand new Pink Floyd is here. This month sees the release of Pink Floyd's The Endless River. The record's being called the swan song of Richard Wright. He's Floyd founder and a keyboardist who passed away at the age of 65 in 2008. The CD is filled with unfinished but now complete cuts featuring Richard Wright. David Gilmore and Nick Mason say this is the last we will hear from Pink Floyd, but we've heard this before. And I wonder, with Richard gone, unless someone is hoarding some tapes, where's the Floyd? How could they go any farther? Unless Roger, Nick Mason, Dave Gilmore, they get together, have a few pints, and decide to head on into the studio.